Uh, hi, uh, I'm Jerry. I just won the regional for permanency. Um, I like I'm, I'm usually from Canada. I'm not actually. I don't study here. Yeah. Like I came here to for, to study, like for yeah. university. So I, I've visited it, and I ran Necros today, and then cool. You, know, you went uh, seven, seven one, one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you were you were unfortunate in the uh, the last one. Yeah, it was it was really screen. funny though because if it kept going on, I could have won. Yeah. Because I was playing BA and then he summoned like an acid golem. Yeah. And I was just looping Valk, so I was hoping that he would just burn himself out. <laughs> but it was it was in time, so like I took more damage than him before, and I yeah. could, and he had a mind crush. Like he had a lot of back row. I just didn't want to play into it. So yeah, that's yeah. fair enough. So we're going to depth profile yes, just around so the top bit. Three Manju standard. Yeah. Three Senju, standard, and then that's fair enough. Classless, you. I only yeah, run maybe. one because you search all your mirrors, and then once they're in your graveyard, you can just banish them. Like having two is useless because if I, I only need this at the start of the game. Like Senju can become a Manju with this. Yeah. But then, like later on in late game, if you draw this, like you already have all your mirrors. This is just a dead draw. So yeah, it was, that's fair it was enough. Good at one, and then standard three Unicorn. Yeah, Unicorn too good. Three Briar, the most expensive card. Ridiculous. <laughs> and but then worth it. This card, which I absolutely hated, Necros of Gunnir. If I were to drop anything, this is the first thing I drop because I've it's... actually never summoned it today. I haven't even used it once. Is it just not useful at all? No, it, it's not good. Like I mean, it's good against Rogue, but yeah. Necros with their Trish's kind of like, like destroy Rogue anyway. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like redundant. That's I mean. Fair People say this is good against cliff forts, but like in the past, I've summoned this against a cliff fort. Like I've popped their scout on their turn. They just activate another one. You still die. No, yeah. It doesn't do anything. Did you not gin lock through it at all? No, I didn't run gin. Oh, you, oh, okay. I, I, I'll, you I'll did one, didn't you? I, I'll but show we'll you. We'll get to that. Yeah, we'll, we'll get, get to that. We'll get to that. So two Valk. This is I standard. Love this card. Val Valk is the best card. Like you always want to end your combo with one of these in your hand so you don't get OTK'd. Yeah. And you can just keep looping it until you draw the right out. That's the best way to go around the Jin combo. You just keep looping until you draw into one of your Jin outs. And then Trish, you have to run it. Yeah. Just running one because it gets really bricky. Like if you have a handful of boss monsters, like something like this and like a mirror, you can't yeah. summon any of them. So there was really no point in running too many of these. And usually when you resolve one, you just win anyway. Yeah. If you need it again, I mean, you could unicorn it back or you could use Necro Cycle. They're both okay. Fair enough. This card is pretty amazing. Like I've OTK'd with uh, this so many times. Like when I was playing in a lot of Necros mirrors, like they just if they leave their field empty turn one, or I, I usually want to go turn two. Like if they don't do enough, like you can drop this. You can drop um, a unicorn that's been boosted by this. Yeah. And then you also have like a Senju or Manju mm. for like AK damage. Like nice. I've just won on this <laughs> card alone. Like this this is amazing. Like you have to run. Great one. Card, You don't yeah. want to run more, but like no. if, if you run too many, like you break. And then standard two shrit, you don't want a third because drawing three is really bad. Usually yeah. when you resolve two, like that's all you need to actually win. That's fair enough. One dance princess, cause Yeah, we, we had was this in the we snatched steel? It, it was really yeah. funny. Because I summoned this and he tried to snatch steel my Trishula and I'm like, no you can't. You can't. Target, yeah. And then they have to like steal they have something. To take it. They so like they don't actually want this, but it's it's especially good against BA, because if they take it, they can't summon anything. Well else. that's exactly on the stream he took he took this and then locked himself out. He yeah, not yeah. only didn't have a spell and trap, he had a non-BA name. So. I know, exactly. So <laughs> this this was hilarious. I mean, this card just gets around a lot of things. Cause I've seen people today run like secret village of the spellcasters or something like that. Oh, wow. You need a spellcaster, so like yeah. you can just search it with like Bryo, <laughs> but like this isn't actually like the best. I mean, if you're playing a long grindy game with Necros, like yeah. you want to tribute this to get some of your unicorns back. So this That's is fair enough. Good. And then my one tech. Oh, that we didn't see. Nice. Phantom of Chaos. Um, well, essentially, what Phantom of Chaos does is like uh, it banishes a lot of your extra deck monsters. For example, like if you're using Kaleido Mirror, yeah. you're going to be banishing like a lot of your yeah. like, synchros. So Crazy. you're just going to write. <laughs> You're gonna banish a lot of really good synchros, so then this can just steal their effects. Yeah. It's also an out to the gin lock. I mean, you could banish a Valk, 
run run it over with this, then main phase two, just tribute it off, draw a few cards. Oh, wow, and then yeah. like they can't trish you back, so you just added their gin lock in like the most efficient way. This is also Very good against nice. BA, like you search a lot with Bryo, you usually want a Bryo in your graveyard. Yeah. So if you ever draw this, you summon it, you banish the Bryo, you can just spin two Dantes back. That's really nice. And it, it's also really good for the OTK. I mean like yeah. if, if you drop the Quasar, you can just banish it. This will negate the effect of Valkyris. Mm -hmm. You can also banish like Herald of Arc Light. Yeah. And then that'll also like essentially like stop their Valk, so you just get that OTK in. So really this nice. was this it's was a really nice tech. Yeah, one. I haven't seen that before. But I, I tried running two of these, but if you just open breaks. two of these, you don't have enough to banish, yeah. and you have to summon it twice. So too many normal <laughs> summons in this deck is a problem too. Yeah. So when you're siding, you usually want to like side out. Um, like have the same amount of normal summons, you don't want any more. And then three prep standard. So it's a standard, yeah. And this really is the cool. thing that I absolutely hate about my deck. It's that we have to run, like these are really good cards, like I've won with them. Yeah. But you, you have to run these, because if you don't, and they gin lock you, you just kind of lose. So you foul <laughs> yeah. out. And I thought I found four not enough. Like uh, Phantom Chaos is one too. Yeah. Um, Dance Princess with Decisive Armor is another one. This is another one too. Really like this. this we were talking is a about tech. it. I mean, like no really one's running at this. <laughs> a lot of people were like telling me this is bad. I shouldn't be it's, running it. We we were discussing it and saying it's actually pretty good if you play it like. I mean, you don't play this until you need it. Some people yeah. are like, draw phase. Like, if you lose your draw phase, you lose the game. But it's okay, because you you're searching all your mirrors, and you always have a Bryo there. Yeah. So, like, it's okay if you miss one draw phase if you win the game. Yeah. Like, this outs the gin lock. And usually if they, like, this targets, right? So Trish yeah. can negate it. But if they negate it, you still get your draw phase. Yeah. So it's perfectly acceptable. And it's also really good against the OTK. Like, if they try to drop uh, Valkyrus on top on you, like, for example, you have a field like, I don't know, something like that, and you're just dealing that last little damage mm. when you're doing it. Like, if they Valk you, you just pop your own monster, and then you attack directly with the other one, because it's just like Scarecrow, so if this yeah. dies, you just attack it's with the so rest good. and just kind of win. So, it's, it's, it has a lot of applications, you don't actually use it until you need it, yeah. but like, it, it's, it's interesting. No, I do like the uh, offering to the dudes. And then Rhoda, because I really had nothing else to run. Like, I want 40 <laughs> cards. And I, I want, didn't want to run two, because I have one class is two shrits. So three targets yeah. in my entire deck. So this is just, like, two extra. Two would be too much, yeah. And then MSTs against Clifford, against um, people that just run emptiness on you. Like, yeah. usually, I don't like this card. Like, I, I side it out almost every game, except wow. if, if I know. Like, if I'm yeah. playing the Necros Mirror match, this card is really bad, so you just want to get rid of it. Like, yeah. But... Essentially, like, because I, I know a lot of people were running Vanity's Emptiness in the Necros deck. Mm -hmm. I just don't think, like, if, if you have all the other outs to it, like, for example, Raigeki and stuff like that, yeah. you can out the lock. So it, it, you don't need these. These are, like, dead draws. Oh, okay. And then standard. Um, I did a 3 two, one ratio of, of these. Yeah. Because, essentially, uh, you want to resolve as many of your uh, sending heralds or sending, like, a 12... Because this pushes yeah. for damage, so these are the damage dealers. Mm -hmm. This is like backup for like Trish usually. And Necros Cycle, a lot of people like to run two, but I think one is better because if you th the only time you activate this is if you have a Shrit in your hand. Because no matter what, if you're summoning something from your hand, you need a Shrit. Yeah. If you're something special, summoning something from a graveyard, you need a Shrit in hand. Like this isn't good unless you have a Shrit. And if you're running like two Shrit and you have like two of these mirrors, you're gonna it's have a lot of dead cards. Yeah, exactly. So. So, so three, two, one. I think is the yeah, better ratio. Yeah, that's that's good as well. Then, so uh, if we go for the extra deck. Extra man in before you. <laughs> well, I just want to say congratulations. To yeah, him. thank you. I thank gave you. you the best thing. I was like my right. American Chinese guy and all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this guy has come over from like America. I was, I was trolling, obviously. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I really picked you up. Everyone was going Jerry, Jerry, and there's like he's in his feature thing. <laughs> anyway, guys. I had a feature too oh, late. <laughs> right, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Four, Four boxes, boxes for the win. Four boxes. Thank you. No problem, guys. Thanks to Brotherhood. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, guys. Yes. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. No problem, Jerry. Okay, so we'll just go over like yeah, the extra so deck. Um, a lot of people are running the Exabito combo. It's really bad. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna you're, you're losing two Bryo searches <laughs> for one Exabito that doesn't actually do too much. Yeah, exactly. So essentially, like. You want to tech it out with a lot of Kaleido Mirror techs, so mm -hmm. I'll go over those first. Yep. Uh, Barbaroid. What level is Barbaroid? It's 12. 12. It's 12. Yeah. And we then sure. Shooting Quasar Dragon. These are your 12s. Um, a lot of people like run 112. I think 212s is better because Kaleido Mirror, you can drop um, both this, your Valkyrus, and your Unicorn with it. And yeah. then what this does is it pushes for damage. This is 52. 
mm. and then after that, main phase two, you can just tribute these two, draw two, and then yeah. add back Very another mirror. Strong, yeah. And um, you might think like, oh, 52 damage, not that much, but if you're playing the Necros mirror, like losing 52 is a lot, because if I have book, if I have offerings, like the next time I do the same combo, yeah. and you try, to, you try to stop it, I just OTK through you, so it really doesn't matter. Yeah, so that's, that's fair essentially enough. why, and, and you need these because you actually go into them a lot. Yeah. And I picked these two because they're very good Phantom of Chaos targets. Yeah, because yeah. this negates like Val. <laughs> this just kind it's of 4K. like it, it's 4K, 4K, 4K and it's, it's but it gets two attacks, and they can't respond like activate effects when it attacks. And you deal a thousand damage when it destroys a monster. So you can run over two Dantes with this, deal two thousand damage, and they don't get any of the effects. Yeah. So this was really good as well. And because Phantom of Chaos only stops battle damage from it, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. It doesn't affect it. Doesn't affect, battle damage. And yeah, then so good. two Herald of Arclight, because like you, you obviously like Heralds. Yeah, like, it's standard. It's standard. Yeah. And then Underground Arachnid as my level six. Nice. I mean, <laughs> you don't run, you don't summon any sixes, but like you can summon it with. Well, no, you drop it with Kaladomir, yeah. and you can banish with Phantom of Chaos. This is non-targeting so destruction. Yeah. Like, it's not like, I mean, removal. Like, I mean, you can take whatever you want with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really good. Falls off at the end. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but sometimes that's all you need to actually, yeah. like, kill them. So mm. that, that, that was relevant, that's really good. sort of. And then now it's just, like, standard x yeah, yeah, yeah. This card's really good. I mean, like, if at any point in the game, like, people are running two Valks usually, so if at any point you see two Valks in their graveyard, you want to summon this, ban banish both, yeah. because that means they can't stop your OTKs anymore, and you're allowed to just do whatever you want to them. So mm -hmm. this is really good. Diamond Dire, because you can pop back row and yeah. then, like, search mirrors and then get a Trish off. Yeah. But this is just... Average. I used this once. It was okay. Castell's one of the best, anyway. And then so. this was for Cliffords. Yeah. I wanted to use it. It never happened. But like, in theory, it was supposed to be good. Yeah. <laughs> in theory. In I mean, theory. if they if they didn't if they didn't like skill drain it or like bounce it after summoning it, but like I guess that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In theory, it's supposed to be good. Excite Knight for like anti meta. Yeah. Uh, Emerald. This is really good because when you're playing the Necros, it's really grindy. So then you want to like return all your unicorns, um, sometimes like your heralds, your bryos back. Yeah. Because if you run out of resources, you kind of just lose the mirror match. I play the mirror match a lot. Today. Yeah, fair enough. Dark Rebellion, never summon this. I don't like it. It's not good. Yeah. <laughs> but it's the only, well, no, if you need that last 2,500 damage, yeah. it gets over something. And this is also the only card in my extra deck that gets over uh, Unicor, because Unicor actually ne it negates the effects of all extra deck monsters. Yeah. So these extra deck monsters are all really weak. Like, you can't actually remove a Unicor unless you, like, summon, like, a 25k yeah. beater to get over it. Dweller, this is really good against BA. Like, if you summon this and just, like, uh, Raigeki or do something to their yeah, field. This is really disgusting. Good. That and you get Raigeki. and since this is a water deck, you get the two thousand <laughs> boost. Cowboy, I summon this like every game this entire tournament. Nice. This always goes for game because all the Necros, most of the Necros OTKs actually require this like as the last little bit of damage. This is yeah. really relevant. And then Laval will chain for the standard combo. I don't do the Jin combo. Yeah. Um, there's a really good combo. Uh, I think I'll show you now. If yeah. That's okay. Yeah. So usually um, what you do is, if you open something like, for example, like Manju and like Kaleido, and then the last one could be like a Shrit or something mm -hmm. like that. Usually if you open these two, you think, oh yeah, I have the standard Jin combo yeah. if you're going first. But like if you have one of these or a Bryo to search one of these or a Rota to search one of these, what you can do is um, Manju will probably search a Unicorn. And then you Kaleido scope for it. Yeah. And then you have your what's his name? Harold. Harold, yeah. And then Harold will end up searching this Necros cycle. And then what you do is you stack these two for Lavalval Chain. And then you send uh, with Lavalval Chain Valkyrus yeah. to the graveyard. And then you just Necros cycle it back with Shrit. Yeah. You bring this back, Shrit gets a search. So you usually want to search like Bryo or something like that. Yeah. And then what you do is you tribute these two, you draw two, and then, um, well, I started with three cards, yeah. right? But like usually when you're starting on turn one, this is the ideal turn one because you start with three cards and then you get to banish two mirrors. It's like a plus two. Yeah. And you get to go dig deeper into your deck. So that's so a really, really good, important thing. Because yeah. in the mirror match, that's probably the best first turn, like as opposed to the gin lock, because the gin lock, you're not getting anywhere. Yeah. I mean, because if you have like, a Colossus in defense, neither player is going to play because you can't search any more mirrors, yeah. and you're just essentially playing with your hand. I'm playing just with my hand as well, yeah. so it's just top deck wars. That's what happens, so it's, <laughs> it's, it's not a good idea. I don't, I don't agree with this tech. Yeah, that's, that's, why I did, that's why I actually didn't run it myself. Yeah. 
But however, <laughs> the side deck, I've actually never, oh no, 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 I sided it once. I have this in my side deck yeah. for anyone to punish anyone who doesn't actually run any gin outs, but I'm pretty sure everyone has <laughs> yeah, ran these sure outs. Everyone does. So, but like when you're not actually running this, you make all their cards dead. You make Dark Holes dead, you make Raigeki's dead, you make Book of Eclipse dead. Too many cards are dead in that matchup. Yeah. So by not running it, you're actually like helping yourself. So but then this, like, it doesn't actually help. I summon it today against one Shadal player, like once, and then I kind of just won with it, but <laughs> it's not that relevant. Like, this is just okay. Yeah. And then standard three maxi. I usually side maxi when I'm going second, mm -hmm. because if they try to use the gin lock, um, you're going to end up with like three, four more cards in hand to deal yeah. with it. And it's just in general pretty okay in the mirror. Fair enough. And it's good against BA. And it's maxi as well. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, what should I go over? Oh, yeah. Okay. This card's amazing in the mirror. Yeah, Haiku, I like this. Because you can't, like, they're, they're not allowed to banish, so essentially when you summon this, you're saying, I'm going to OTK you this turn. Yeah. And, like, I played someone in round seven. He was a pretty good Necros player. Like, he, he summoned one of these. He attacked me. He failed to do the OTK, and then I just kind of killed him no. the next turn. <laughs> but, like, in theory, this is supposed to be really good. Like, in testing, I've just summoned this for maybe, like, summon, like, a decisive armor, and then, like, any other ritual monsters to attack, and they can't respond to it in any yeah. way. And you get to banish everything. A lot of people are running side blocker. But I think this is better because I, they yeah. can't they can't trish you. Side blocker is weaker than this, and it's really specific. Like you can only target like that one card. Yeah. This hits a lot more, and it hits much harder. In certain situations, it course stops the mirrors from banishing from grave. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, stops. It's it, really it, it's, strong. It ends their searching, and you can banish all their monsters. Yeah. So for, like for example, Shreds and like Bryo, so mm. they can't actually play anymore. This is probably the best like normal summon in the mirror. Yeah, it's really good. And then, this is probably the best card Love in the mirror. Mind Crush. I've probably never like lost a game where I've resolved this. I mean, standard play is like you activate Kaleido Mirror and summon like either Unicorn with like a Valkyris. Mm. But like if at any point when they activate this, you call um, Unicorn, they have to discard it. Yeah. And then they don't have, you're not allowed to send a level 8 for Valkyris yeah, exactly. by its effect. So they have to show you their entire hand and show that they can't resolve this. And they can't really trish you because you already activated this. It's, it's over. And then usually when this happens, like they, you lose too many resources mm. and then you kind of just lose the mirror that way. Like when I was playing today, I've beaten a lot of people by actually just calling Unicorn. And then sometimes you can call Valk, like what happened to yeah, me. Yeah. And then just like drop the Valk from their hand and kind mm. of just like end, like for a guaranteed OTK. Mm. But essentially, like, I mean, it's not perfect because a lot of people are saying, like, you don't, if they just activate a mirror, for example, Necros mirror, you don't know yeah. what they're summoning. But overall, like the standard one's Kaleido, so it's pretty good. That's fair enough. And then, let's see what else I have. Three Twister for the Cliff Fort matchup, because that That's was really bad. Yeah. I faced two Cliff Forts today. I OTK'd one, turn one, both games. <laughs> the other one, I MST, I opened like triple MST and like double Twister, and I kind of like MST'd all their scouts, like yeah. all three of them, and the game just kind of ended there. That's fair enough. But you usually want to hit the Floodgates. These are for Floodgates yeah. mainly. And then uh, we have Snatch Deal for Cliff Forts. This card, I've never sided it. I've Probably against anti-meta, but I haven't actually seen a use for it. Except probably enough. like the BA matchup at the end. Yeah. That that was pretty good. Yeah. You saw it come down hard in the East MG matchup. Yeah, yeah so exactly. that's pretty much the deck. I mean, Jin Lock's not really that good. It's it, it's <laughs> not hard to out. I mean, it's better to play it without the Jin Lock because you'll realize you, you'll learn a lot more about the deck. You'll figure out a lot of the interactions. Yeah. yeah. So uh, quickly, how were your matchups? Uh if you remember. <laughs> let me think. Round one faced a Shadal to owed him. Round two faced a Clifford to owed him. I've, I've actually only lost three games today. Wow. One to the Necros uh, mirror match, one to a Clifford player who game one had skill drain, I couldn't do anything. Yeah, fair enough. And then that last one where I tied for, um, to the BA. So, yeah. yeah. Um, and then I also faced, I believe, three or four Necros mirrors, and then. 2BA, something like that. That's fair enough. Yeah, I know. It, it was all meta today. I haven't faced <laughs> any anti-meta. Just shows how uh, strong London is. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, so yeah. thank you very much, Jerry. I oh, really yeah. appreciate it. Any last closing comments? Yeah, I have to thank a few people. <laughs> yeah, go yeah, for yeah. it. Um, probably the people I came here with, like Adam and Liam from Cambridge, yep. for, like, helping me. Like, we built this deck together. And then 
also to some of the friends in Cambridge who actually lent me the bryos because I only uh. I only managed to get one. I mean, it was it was it's really high in demand, yeah, yeah. and I could only borrow two. So yeah, no, That's no, it's pretty good. Cool. All right. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, and yeah, this is Alinthia signing out. Thank you.